Bro, bro, did you know that 250cc is the largest commonly seen engine size in Indonesia until recently the world's largest two-wheeler market? Yes, don't row bro me and uh, yes, I knew that, you don't seem to know that. No, I leave me out of it but Benelli clearly knew that because the most important bike they had on their stand at the Indonesia International Auto Show was the Leoncino 250. 250? You mean the TRK? Uh, yeah, the Leoncino's engine I think went to the Turk and I'm only saying that because uh, I'm not speaking in Turkish, okay? It's not <laughs> I'm only it's saying that TRK. because at least in chronology, if not in engineering, the Leoncino came first. Okay, is it coming to India? No, wait, Varun, you tell us. I don't know what those two guys are doing at the studio, but news of the Leoncino 250 coming to India has been around since August 2018. The announcement came as the Mahavir Group took over the Benelli India operations and launched the 500cc TRKs in Mumbai. Now the plan is to launch seven new motorcycles by March 2020 and in that list is definitely this, the Leon Chino 250. The Leon Chino 250 is an entry level single cylinder motorcycle that's made to look like a retro scrambler. Now the design cues are naturally borrowed from the Leoncino 500, the bigger Leoncino but this is a smaller motorcycle so it looks a lot more agile. It was first seen at EICMA 2017 in Milan, Italy and it slowly started making its way into markets like Indonesia. It's going to come to India and uh, we're expecting it to be priced around the 1.8 lakh mark which is going to make this the most affordable Benelli, but that's before you factor in Mahavir and Benelli India's operations to localize parts and drop prices further. Yes, Varun, yes, Varun. but what, is, what it? is it? Okay, then let's talk quality. Now at GIIAS, you also get the opportunity to sit on motorcycles, try them out, experience them, see what the ergonomics feel like. And that's exactly why you'll see a lot of handprints on the paint. And that seems to be my only gripe for now. But in terms of switch gear quality, the way, the shine on the cluster, the rest of the parts and I think the paint also looks really, really premium if I can call that from what we have seen in the past. When we talk about the engine, what we have here is a 249cc single cylinder engine. It's the same engine that we see in the TNT25 but it's slightly updated so it makes about 26 bhp, 21.2 newton meters of torque. And all of this amounts to a dry weight of 153 kilograms. You also have a six-speed gearbox that is sitting inside this nice steel trolley frame. 41 mm USD forks on the front, a monoshock at the rear. You've got 17 inch wheels on both ends and you have a reasonable feet height of 810 mm. No problem ergonomically whatsoever. Can you Can see you the competition, see the competition when, it when it comes to India? Alright, so 250cc, 26 bhp, 1.8 to 2 lakh rupees, that puts it squarely in the middle of 250 Duke and the yes. Bajaj Domina 400, does yes. it? Yes, it does and we have, interestingly enough, we have a comparison video of the 250 Duke and the Domina coming up on our channel very soon and uh, why am I telling you this, you're the guy uh, riding both the bike but you should have then waited for the Leon Chino 250, don't you think? Bro, why wait? We make one more video with the three bikes, more content bro. Okay, uh, let's take this a little more seriously, I'm having to say this to you for the second time. I remember saying this to you before, because it is a serious matter. The Leon Chino 250, uh, it's the heaviest bike and the least powerful engine of the trio of similarly priced motorcycles. Now this is a thing that uh, Benelli is going to have to really think about because value for money is then the only thing uh, that is going to be uh, helping a, per a bike buyer to make the purchase decision. If my point is, yeah, but it's got to have value for money when I, the bike I, comes in. Yeah, and I would have ordinarily brought up the idea that the design genre for the Leoncino is very similar to the kind of work that the Husqvarna's are doing with the 401's. Yes. But I'm not going to bother because they're already saying that the Huskies will be premium priced, so the price will go above the 390 Duke. And at that point of time, Leoncino 250, 1.8 lakh rupees ad. It doesn't matter. All right then, uh, with that we conclude our episode of uh, Leoncino 250 out here on Power Drift. Uh, hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell for more such continued sub updates. And if you'd like something more fun to watch, episodes where people talk normally, stay tuned for the game of performance as every Wednesday it's full of fast cars, All fast motorcycles, tire smoke, cornering. Trust me, you want to see this. Absolutely. Goodbye. But for now, from Indonesia, it's goodbye.